Welcome to the video on assessment for your library publishing program. In this video, we will discuss what assessment is, what matters when considering assessment, the impact loop, and common assessment traps. In later units, we will discuss specific methods of assessment for programs and publications. In this video, we will look at some general considerations for all kinds of assessment. Let's begin with what assessment is. For this unit, we will define assessment broadly as the systematic collection and analysis of information to improve decision making. This definition encompasses different organizational, program, project, and product assessment strategies. For your library publishing program, the assessment process should provide information on whether outcomes are being achieved and how programs can be improved. What matters when it comes to assessment? In a previous unit, we discussed how to develop and express strategic goals, priorities, and objectives with impact in mind. The first step, which requires considerable thought, is deciding what matters, what is important, and how it will be measured. So how do you know what to assess? Tie assessment to your strategic goals and priorities. Crafting measurable goals allows us to determine in advance how we will know whether we are making progress towards them, while assessment tells us whether we are making progress towards our goals and indicates areas for improvement. The impact loop shows one way to approach assessment. The assessment process should provide information on whether outcomes are being achieved and how programs can be improved. Ideally, this process results in a continual feedback loop of setting goals, determining objectives, implementation, assessment, and improvement. There are some assessment traps that we want to avoid. Avoid forming objectives just because they can be measured if true value to the organization is uncertain. An example of this might be to offer 10 workshops per semester. If the workshop content is valuable to your stakeholders, the mere amount of workshops given will not provide value to the organization. Be careful of spending more time collecting data and metrics than is necessary. Also, Beware of collecting data and metrics that are not meaningful or accurate, which can lead to flawed analysis and decision making. Data and other metrics should be gathered, analyzed, and presented in relation to identified goals and objectives. Finally, remember that all metrics have limitations and the potential for bias. Assessment tools are most effective when used in combination. Best practice is to balance quantitative and qualitative methods and to compare results from different methods. Throughout this unit, remember not to lose sight of what it is you consider success. The definition of success will vary, but should always be based on the program's mission, vision, and goals, or the goals and objectives of a specific project. Of course, surprises may occur where success is achieved and impact is made in areas that were not originally considered but this is a happy circumstance that usually arises from careful planning and not happenstance, nor should this displace original program or project goals. Adaptation and reevaluation is important, but articulation of mission, vision, and goals, and how these will be measured, is the foundation. In this video, we've discussed assessment. Thanks for watching.